The beautiful thing about theater is that my dancing ability, my ability to tell a story and act, or my ability to be physically intact and ready to go at any moment is constantly changing and evolving. And I mean, I'm an actor. I think that I take direction very well. But even in life, if someone is giving me advice and it's a little tough, I see that as them wanting the best for me. And my dad has kind of raised me that way. We are super similar in the way that we both think discipline is love. I see that as you know, true love, and we have that in common. My name is Natasha Rodriguez. I'm an actor, I'm a singer, and I'm a dancer. I'm a big sister, I'm a daughter. My passion is musical theater, and when I'm on stage, I just feel like I'm flying. Alex Rodriguez is a legendary Major League Baseball player. He's a 2009 world champion, over 3,000 hits, 696 home runs, and most importantly, he's my dad. Natasha and her father have a lot of similarities. One of them is that they have a very strong sense of who they are and what they want. Alex knew from young he was gonna be an athlete. I think it's very rare for a young child to know what they're gonna do with the rest of their life. They both have that laser focus. I've never really seen it in anyone else. I'm the first in my family to take a career path in the arts, so I'm definitely deviating from the path, but I'm having a really fun time doing it, and I'm feeling really, really supported by my family, so I'm really lucky. As a kid, my mom exposed my sister and me to as many things as she could think of, and I kind of stuck with anything that had to do with music. Most publicly, I've sung national anthems at NBA games and MLB games, and my dad has posted those, and so I've kind of gotten some recognition for that, but in my heart, and what I put most of my effort into is musical theater. So it's acting, singing, and dancing, and getting training evenly in all three disciplines, and I participate in the plays and musicals at my high school, and then I am playing Ella in my school's production of Cinderella. I'm actually going to school to study musical theater, so that's kind of what this has all been leading up to for me. I love it so much. It's like, oh my God, it feels like a holiday. And I miss it so much when I'm not doing it. I'm just so happy, and it just feels like nothing can get in my way. In my own little corner, in my own little chair, I can be whatever I want to be. So Natasha was four and I asked her what she wanted for her birthday and she said, I want a white piano. A white piano. Gosh, where am I gonna find you a white piano? And her father and I, uh, we had a close family friend, which I'm sure you know, Lenny Kravitz. I was speaking to him and I said, I need a white piano. And he said, well, I have a white piano, but it's in storage. You can have it. You need to ship it to your house, but you can have it. So I called her father and I said, Lenny has a white piano. He's gonna give it to us. You need to ship it from California. So her dad did, and it's the piano that she plays on now. Okay. That Arizona sky burning in your eyes. You look at me and babe, I wanna catch on fire. As I've gotten older, I'm able to kind of accompany myself singing, and playing the piano is just a little escape for me. It's something that's equally disciplined and creative, and there's a lot of freedom in that for me. I think music is just in me. I just feel so connected to myself and the world around me when I'm listening to music, when I'm playing music, when I'm singing. There's just nothing that pulls me out of a bad day more, or if I'm sad, it pulls me deeper into that place and it makes me feel like the feelings are worth it. So my weeks are pretty busy. They consist of workouts, rehearsals, voice lessons, piano lessons, dance classes, a lot of homework, and hopefully a lot of family time. So working out in the morning is inspired a lot by my dad and my stepdad. My whole family is kind of very involved with athletics and staying physically fit. 
I think working out, especially in the morning, is a big sign of discipline because if you can get up and show up for yourself, then you have the whole day to show up for all these other people that are going to need you know, my help throughout the day. So when 5.30 a.m. rolls around, I'm not always motivated to get up and go to the gym, but it's a habit that you create. It's not about one time. It's not about sleeping in. It's about just doing it so that it becomes a habit. When I met her father, I saw a work ethic that was just different. It's all he did. He was just always working on his craft. That's how Natasha is. So I remember like in ninth grade when you started high school, you were kind of a little lost, right? You yeah. didn't know where you fit in. You had played volleyball, then you didn't make the volleyball team. And then you tried cross country and I picked you up and you were like sobbing. And you said, I don't like running, it's so hot out. And I said, well then you don't have to run. And then the true fear came out of you that was, I'm so afraid that if I don't do a sport, my dad's gonna be disappointed in me. Do you remember that? It surprised me because it's like the last thing that he ever would be disappointed in you for. And I assured you that he just wanted you to be happy and find something that you loved. And she kind of found herself a little, I would say a little lost, not knowing what to do. And she decided to continue with the musical theater program in high school. Uh, that is where she met her mentor, Sam Shapiro, and they developed a very strong friendship. I think Sam opened her mind to the world of theater in a different way. So let's keep the party polite. So let's keep the party polite. Never get out of my sight. I am attending the University of Michigan to major in musical theater, and I am extremely excited. This is my total dream school. There's a statistic that says getting into a musical theater program is more difficult than getting into an Ivy League school. A lot of people say getting into the University of Michigan is harder than getting into Harvard Business School, as far as the numbers go. Every year, Michigan graduates are included in the top 10 schools represented on Broadway. Going to school for musical theater is extremely difficult because it's so selective. It almost feels random at times. It's similar to athletes being scouted for sports, but where it's different is that they won't usually come to you. You have to put yourself out there to them. You have to prepare multiple monologues, songs, dance combinations. You just kind of have to do your best and hope that you're what they're looking for. There are a lot of times that I didn't think it was gonna work out the way I wanted, but I worked so hard and I prayed so hard and I truly manifested it. And it's really beautiful to see it come to life. Something I've struggled with since I was younger is people having the assumption that my dad being who he is gets me into a door. But the way I see it is that just because he gets me into the door doesn't mean that when I'm in the door, I feel deserving to be there. So I feel like I need to kind of work twice as hard to prove to anyone that I deserve to be there just for being who I am. The most foreseeable dream is to work on Broadway. Uh, as far as my career goes in its entirety, there's no way to know from now but I'd like to have a few Broadway shows under my belt. I'd love to put out my own music. I'd love to get involved in film. But for right now, Broadway is the goal. What is most amazing to me is that within that softness is like a fire and this like strength that is unbreakable. And that is what I really admire about Natasha. She never gives up. She just continues to find a different door to open but her goal is her goal, and she'll find a way to get there. I think my character and my work ethic speak for themselves when it comes to who I am, but it's a little difficult for people to understand that at first if they have an assumption of me or some sort of preconceived thought about who they think I am. The biggest two lessons that my dad has instilled in my sister and I are never give up and keep your cool. So whenever anything kind of crazy happens, I remember to just take a deep breath, uh, kind of assess the situation, have some perspective and realize that things aren't as bad as they could be. At the end of the day, I consider myself an athlete. My dad has always told me you're a champion, it's in your blood, and I truly believe that.